Good evening everyone, welcome to another Hayden B. Grilling. Tonight we're going to make some shrimp pasta. Now this shrimp pasta, we're going to make it almost identical to the way we made that chicken spaghetti a few weeks ago. But my wife and I thought, well, what if we did that but with shrimp? So I don't have any fancy title for it, so we're just going to call it some shrimp pasta. So let's get after it. We've got some shrimp thawing out that I picked up from Grillmaster Barbecue Supply and Seasoning. Uh, so they were some really big jumbo shrimp. So I got them thawing out. Here in just a second, we'll peel them and devein them and remove the heads off of them and get them in a the skillet. All right, folks, first thing I'm gonna do, go ahead and get my burner going on a high heat. I'm gonna sprinkle in some salt, sprinkle in some pepper into my pot of water that I'm gonna use to cook my noodles. So I'm gonna add in a splash of garlic powder. Next, I'm just gonna shoot me a quick little splash of olive oil in there. Next we're gonna start breaking our pasta noodles in half and then putting them in the pot. Now, while I'm waiting on my noodles to start cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and cube up a block of uh, Velveeta. I've got a 16 ounce block of Velveeta. So we're gonna cut that down into cubes. On a medium sized saucepan, I'm gonna go ahead and mix a can of cream of mushroom soup, a can of Rotel. We're gonna turn our burner onto a medium heat and let that start to warm up and mix, stir that all in together. I'm slowly gonna start adding in those chunks of uh, Velveeta that we cut up just a minute ago and start letting them start to melt into the Rotel and the cream of mushroom. All right, folks, while our noodles are still cooking, we got our Rotel and cream of mushroom mixture cooking. I've gotten two pads of butter in a skillet. I'm gonna turn this on to a medium heat and let it start melting. And then we're gonna cook our shrimp right here in the skillet. All right, so our butter's getting good and melted and starting to sizzle up a little bit. We're gonna, I cut those shrimps in half, they were so big. But we're gonna put them in the skillet and cook them over medium heat. Now, shrimp is really easy. It only takes a few moments uh, for this thing to be done. Now folks, I season these with George's. Uh, the last video I used George's, someone asked me what the last name is, but uh, I can't pronounce it and I don't want to butcher it. So this is what we used on, on the shrimp. Folks, when you're grilling or cooking shrimp, you really want to watch the color. And when that color starts getting that, that pretty kind of pinkish color, that's when you know your shrimp is getting done. Folks, this all finished right about the same time. we got our pasta done, our shrimp's done, and our sauce is done. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to pour this mixture into our pot we got that in we're gonna come back and we're gonna add in our shrimp once we got all the ingredients added in there then we're just going to just give us a good mixing get this all mixing together so while you got your shrimp and your pasta and your little cheese and cream of mushroom and rotel mixed all in together all right folks we got it all mixed in together so give it that just a moment to kind of cool off a little bit but this is something like i said we just we thought about it. We were like, hey, we like chicken spaghetti. What if we added shrimp into it? So this may be a bad idea. I don't know, but we're about to find out. And I said I wasn't gonna give it no fancy name, but we got spaghetti, we got chicken spaghetti. So I think I'm gonna call this shrimp spaghetti. Shrimp spaghetti. I'm gonna try to figure out how to spell it. All right, here we go with it. That was really good. I was a little bit surprised. I wasn't sure. I love shrimp. I love spaghetti. I love chicken spaghetti. I wasn't sure how I'd feel about shrimp spaghetti, but had a very good flavor to it. Best part is it took maybe 30, 35 minutes total to get all that cooked in together. So this is a great night for that weeknight or a great meal for the weeknight. I'm sorry. When you're on the go, on the go, on the go. So y'all please give us a try. Let me know what you think of my shrimp spaghetti. And uh, as always, y'all like, subscribe, and we'll see y'all later.